machine fails. That's it. Heartbreaking loss last night. Very, very disappointed. Not really mad, just disappointed overall. Kind of by the way that we played. Um, 18 to 16 loss last night to Pittsburgh Steelers. Congratulations to them. They're moving on next week in the AFC Championship game against the Patriots in Foxborough. Um, you know, I can't believe the main, the main reason that I can't believe is that we lost on giving up six field goals by Chris Boswell. That's right, six. Um, because that's how they want it. I mean, probably no one expected that. I mean, I didn't expect it. Because, you know, it was, it was kind of a boring game. Um, they made only two touchdowns, both of them by right. the Chiefs. Um, you know, we would be up 7-3. Uh, Albert Wilson had a five-year pass from Smith. Help us up 7-3. Um, we would be down 12-7 at the half. Um, our defense played pretty, pretty well. Um, but Pittsburgh's defense... Played very well on us, and you know they have a solid defense. They played very well on us the first time back in uh, week four, I believe, and when we played them in Pittsburgh. Um, but yeah, you know we just we could have tied it. You know we were down eighteen to ten with um you know on our three. Three minutes to play, and we would get that touchdown on a one yard run from Spencer Ware. But, you know, obviously we'd have to go for two in order to tie it. And, well, we could have tied it the first time. Alex Smith had a pass to Eric Fisher, who is a tall guy, six foot seven. But he made a big mistake, a holding penalty. Um, he forced it all the way back to the 12 yard line, and that was incomplete. So, well, we still had a chance to to um, possibly win it, get a game winning field goal. Um, but the Steelers would have had a punt because. Well, the, the kickoff was dropped, and it was all the way back to the five-yard line. So we, we could have gotten a safety as well and could have tied it up. But, you know, we got the first down, and then just took a knee and won it. So, stinks, yes. But the Steelers have been doing very well. I mean, it. Every time in the playoffs under Mike Tomlin. Um, so it stinks. We have not won a playoff game since 1993, and coincidentally, that playoff game was against the Steelers. That's right. Um, back in 1993, when they won. Yeah, I made it all the way to the AFC Championship game. But, um, this time we lost. We won a playoff game last year, last year when we lost this year in the, in the second round. So, it stinks. Season's over. Um, you know, yeah, this was just a really boring game. Probably, you know, a lot of people would say by the six field goals. Um, pretty much came down in the fourth quarter. Um, but if you watch the Packers Cowboys game, that was much more exciting. 
than this game. Um, cause this game was just kind of a boring game. Um, Green Bay Dallas game that was much much more exciting. Coming down to the last last play, with Green Bay winning at thirty four thirty one. So, but anyway. The end of a very great, but coming down to a disappointing season. Um, honestly, I was disappointed by what our losses to Houston, Pittsburgh, uh, Tennessee, and Tampa Bay. I was disappointed by the way that we played in all of those games. The Tennessee one, we actually didn't play that bad in the first half, but in the second half, we played pretty bad. And, of course, that was a frigid cold game. Back in December in week fifteen, so so not much else to say about it. Um, first, you know, we were off to a seven and two start. Um, got the second best record in the AFC, in the AFC. Um, until we lost and. We go about it to Tampa Bay. Um, but, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to do next season. Um, Travis Kelsey, Eric Berry, Tyree Kill all go into the Pro Bowl in Orlando, Florida, which is two weeks on the 29th. So, Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Good luck to Packers and Falcons and Steelers Patriots. And I will make a prediction for the Super Bowl. So, um, for my sports stuff, um, baseball, you won't see me again for baseball until about March or April. But I still got hockey. So, pretty much just hockey for a little while. Um, and then baseball will be back in about two months. Well, over two months, I should say. Um, and, oh, yeah, in the schedule, we know who our opponents are, but we don't know when.